Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sara Bulfet. An implementation of the decisions of the Coordination Committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, and in light of precautionary measures taken by all institutions to mitigate the spread of the coronavirus, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rajid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, issued Ministerial Decision Number 53 of 2020 on prohibiting gatherings in public places. The decision stipulated the prohibition of gatherings of over five people in roads, squares, beaches, parks and other public places. It also stipulated that anyone who violates this prohibition will be penalized as prescribed in Article 25 of Decree by Law 5 of 1990 on civil defense, which penalized all violators of decisions, regulations, orders and instructions with imprisonment for no more than three years and a fine that does not exceed 5,000 Bahraini dinars or either of the two penalties. The Ministry of Interior calls on all citizens and residents who adhere to the measures related to prohibiting gatherings in order to prevent the spread of the virus and preserve public safety in the country, noting that the ministry will take all legal measures against violators. The Minister of Information, Ali bin Mohammed al-Ramehi, affirmed that Bahrain's successful participation in the plan to return Kuwaiti citizens stranded abroad as a result of the spread of the novel coronavirus COVID-19 is a national duty and a natural stance reflecting the deep-rooted solid fraternal bilateral relations that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa is constantly keen to develop. Al-Ramehi stressed during an interview with the Kuwaiti TV channel Arai that Bahrain does not differentiate between a Bahraini and a Kuwaiti citizen, which is reflected in His Majesty the King's directives, noting that this exceptional circumstance has strengthened the relations between GCC citizens and united them to combat the global challenge of the spread of the coronavirus. The Kingdom of Bahrain managed to participate successfully in the plan to return Kuwaiti citizens stranded abroad as a result of the spread of the novel coronavirus COVID-19. The Kingdom was able, with close follow-up and continuous coordination with Kuwaiti government agencies, to finalize the departure procedure of the first batch of 45 Kuwaiti citizens. All necessary medical examinations were taken before they left the country. Bahrain's participation comes within the process of securing the return of about about 800 Kuwaiti citizens from Europe and the United States of America. The citizens are expected to leave the Kingdom of Bahrain within the coming days until the completion of arranging their return dates and scheduling their trips to Kuwait. Bahrain's participation came upon the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which reflects the deep fraternal bonds between Bahrainis and Kuwaitis. A large number of Kuwaiti citizens, especially those who were assured of their return yesterday, expressed their satisfaction with the atmosphere in which they were received, as well as their happiness with the measures taken by the Kingdom to provide the highest levels of medical safety. They noted that the Kingdom does not fail to offer a helping hand and assistance to its neighbours, especially during such exceptional circumstances and following the measures taken by many countries to face of the spread of COVID-19. Health authorities in the Kingdom work diligently in cooperation with the authorities concerned, particularly civil aviation, to secure the needs of the Bradley citizens of Kuwait to ensure their safety and security. The Ministry of Information launches a television and radio multilingual campaign in several languages to further raise awareness about combating the coronavirus COVID-19 through a series of televised and radio segments, which includes the precautionary measures and health guidelines needed to deal with this virus. This campaign launch came in implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa regarding the necessity of raising the awareness of the citizens and residents in order to preserve their safety. It also stems from the ministry's national responsibility towards the society. The campaign's seven different languages were English, French, German, Filipino, Hindi, Urdu and Japanese. The Ministry of Information Affairs will continue to launch these educational segments and health guidelines for all citizens and residents through its visual, audio and electronic platforms to spread awareness in an effective manner to deal with the coronavirus. Protégez-vous et protégez les autres. Contre les infections, en vous lavant les mains ou en utilisant un désinfectant 
à base d'alcool fréquemment sans toucher votre visage. Das Covid-19 Virus verbreitet sich hauptsächlich durch Speicheltropfen oder auch durch Ausfluss aus der Nase, wenn eine infizierte Person hustet oder niest. Mahalaga na tayo ay may respiratory etiquette katulad ng pagbahing sa ating siko. Regular na linisin ng lubusan ang inyong mga kamay gamit ang alcohol-based drug o di kaya hugasan ang mga ito gamit ang sabon at tubig. Usse ek meter dur rahe ek jaga me 5 se zyada log jama hona mana hai dostor me kana kana mana hai jim shogyo ten wa igyo teishi dasu kedo da ga supermarket wa hikizuki eigyo o okonatte imasu The Kingdom of Bahrain has exerted efforts in the protection of the citizens and residents on its land by providing all necessary needs to sustain life normally. The heightened medical policies are enacted to sustain the safe environment. More in this report. The Supreme Council of Health and the Ministry of Health in the Kingdom of Bahrain have anticipated the need to safeguard its citizens and residents from the spread of the novel coronavirus, dubbed COVID-19, from the very beginning of the virus's global appearance. These authorities have not only abided by the WHO regulations for the containment of the COVID-19 virus, but they also have contributed massively to further strengthen these regulations. We are very proud for all of the precaution measures that have been taken by the Supreme Council of Health and Minister of Health. Uh, started from the day one when the virus started to go on viral and start to be pandemic in all the countries. We started earlier than that, before the virus being registered as pandemic. Uh, with the precaution being taken in the uh, airport, in the causeway, uh, we reduce the flight coming in. Whenever the flight is coming, we are swimming all the pay all the people who are considering that might have high risk to carry the virus. Uh, we keep track of them and we give them the advice uh, what to do at home. And we give them the advice of home isolation. Uh, even when we get the result, we still carry on two weeks of home isolation. First of all, they have trained all the healthcare workers how to deal with the suspected cases, how to deal with the patient themselves, and even how to take the swab to check whether the patient have the corona or not. So uh, what I can see, also you can see in all the health center, there is a flu station, there is posters that uh, scattered everywhere. And any patient can see it, Bahraini, uh, non-Bahraini, uh, Indian, all the citizen as well as who's uh, living here in Bahrain. And also they are prepared a huge clinic in airport to check all the travelers and I've been there uh, in the weekend and I'll go again uh, and also as you can see recently uh, the exhibition uh, center it's been prepared yeah. uh, and also uh, some of the nurses with the doctors have been go to visit the the Bahrainis who came from outside and they have been checked also and uh, tested for the corona yeah. Primary healthcare centers in Bahrain are the main medical lifelines when it comes to the treatment of daily cases of illnesses, immunizations, follow-up of chronically ill diseases and prescribing long-term medications, hence equipping them to deal with walk-in cases that might have or carry the COVID-19 viruses is a must. Do not attend the health center if you are not having, if you didn't take appointment already. Uh, once you are here, uh, uh, come uh, before 15 minutes before your appointment, no need to come earlier. Uh, once you are here, keep at least one meter between you and fellow, uh, um, fellow patient. We are doing the same precautions everywhere. Uh, first of all, uh, as you can see, the number of patients minimize. Uh, but still, there are some procedures we cannot stop patients from coming to the health center. For example, the vaccines, uh, the non-communicable diseases, the clinic of non-communicable diseases. So uh, what we have done that we have called the mothers for the child uh, for the vaccines. Uh, they are bringing the child for vaccination uh, according to the time. So in that case, we are minimizing the rash of the patients. So each patient will have a specific time to come. We have a flu vaccine station in the entrance of the, of the health center. You can see it. 
once the patient or the client enter the door, uh, will be asked by the staff who sit there about the health status. We'll check the temperature. We'll ask if the patient have been set with the travelers or came from uh, somewhere else that it's rash with people gathering all these things will be asked if the patient have nothing uh, and he's fine just came for uh, to be seen by the doctor for rather than this problem he will be seen normally but if we are uh, suspecting that the patient have problem even it's one person like uh, corona will just ask the patient to come with us we'll take him to the isolation room mm -hmm. and will be seen by the doctor and we'll call travel for Protecting citizens and residents has to be the first priority of every country. The Kingdom of Bahrain has made fighting this virus a priority, not only for the Kingdom, but for the whole world. To stop the spread of the coronavirus COVID-19, people of the Kingdom of Bahrain are asked to practice social distancing and stay home. Precautionary measures taken to contain the spread of the coronavirus include limiting gatherings outside houses and in public areas to five individuals only prohibiting gatherings in public parks and beaches, and temporarily closing down all retail and industrial enterprises, starting from March 26, 2020 until April 9, 2020. Strict laws will be enforced on any violators of the decisions. When it comes to staying home and social distancing, it's a process that aids the slowdown of the spread hence flattening the curve. Frontline healthcare workers from around the world got behind the wheels of their ambulances and began long shifts in emergency rooms and intensive care units, where they come into direct contact with the disease, sacrificing their own lives for hours. Here is a message from our healthcare workers to you. We are staying at work for you. Please stay at home for us and for everyone. Just stay at home. Avoid uh, kissing, uh, handshaking, uh, staying with others, crowding. You know, this is not only for us, not only for you, for you, for your children, for your mother, for your father, for your family, uh, siblings, uh, all, all the person that you really do care about, just stay at home. But while you are staying at home, you can do anything. You can play, you can uh, do your exercise, you can read, you can be more uh, close to your family even, your children. As well as you have to do some steps. You have to wash your hands regularly, use the sanitizer, don't share your personal things with others. Uh, uh, these things all you have to do it and stay please stay at home for us and for you and for everyone that you love please stay at home keep everything safe keep your hand clean do not uh, mix and care increase the risk of spreading the infection uh, staying at home is very important especially nowadays uh, if you stay at home you will help us as a um, as a medical team to help the community to reduce the risk of, of the infection spread. Stay home, slow the spread. In a statement issued after an emergency virtual summit on coronavirus, the G20 leaders say the world's leading economies will do whatever it takes to overcome the coronavirus pandemic, adding that tackling the pandemic and its interwind health, social and economic impact is the absolute priority. The leaders will commit to sharing epidemiological and health data, strengthening health systems globally and expanding the manufacturing capacity of medical supplies. The leaders also said that they were committed to resolving the disruptions to global supply chains and asked finance ministers and central bank governors to coordinate regularly together and with international organizations to develop an action plan in response to the pandemic. 
Iran announced today 144 new deaths from the novel coronavirus, bringing the official number of fatalities to 2,378 in one of the world's worst-hit countries. A health ministry spokesman in a televised news conference said that in the past 24 hours, they've had 2,926 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 infections across the country. This brings the overall confirmed cases to at least 32,332, noting that 11,133 of those hospitalized so far have recovered. Meanwhile, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said today that he had tested positive for coronavirus and was self-isolating but would still lead the government's response to the outbreak. A Downing Street spokesman said that Johnson experienced mild symptoms on Thursday, a day after he answered at the Prime Minister's weekly question and answer session in Parliament's House of Commons chamber. A shake in South Africa announced today its first two deaths from the coronavirus as the country's cases rose above a thousand and a three-week lockdown began. The health minister said the deaths occurred in Western Cape Province, home of Cape Town. South Africa has the most virus cases in Africa, with the total across the continent now above 3,200.